If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Yeah, hi, good morning, good evening to all of you. So normally, uh, when we come into the session, so why I'm keeping this slide is what the, it's a very important actually to be discussed. Okay, so I just mentioned it as a simple finance benefits of simple finance. Now, today we are in SAP S four hundred finance. Actually, we should not call it as a simple finance. I'll tell you the reason here. Okay, so I'll tell you the reason. Okay, so uh, uh, so in two thousand fourteen, actually to be very frank, actually between two thousand fourteen two thousand fifteen, actually. We call it as a SAP simple finance. We call it as a simple finance, simple finance. And there is another called as a simple logistics for all the SCM related, okay, LOG, okay, simple logistics. The simple finance and the simple logistics are going to be called as add-ons. Actually, it's not a replacement of the existing SAP ECC server. It is not an existing uh, replacing with the concept. So it is going to be called an add-on on the top of your SAP ECC. Let me take I'll do an example. Okay. Now, as okay, we are discussing the demo also. So this is my server. We call it as the SAP. We call it as the server SAP business suit. We call it as the SAP business suit. So when I go to the server, okay, so we have three layers are there. Okay, this is what exactly I call it as a server or a client. I'll tell you the reason. I'll, I'll tell you the difference between the server and the client also. So we call it as a presentation. We call it as a presentation. And this is what exactly we call it as an application. Application is nothing but where our server is getting recited. This is, a, this is going to be called the middle layer. We call it as a middle layer. We have totally three layers are there. But normally, if you speak, okay, normally, if you go and see in the detail level, there are seven layers are there. But in the front end, we'll discuss only about the three layers. The first layer is going to be called as the presentation. And in the middle layer, we are going to be talking something about the middle layer. This middle layer is always going to be called as the application. And the third layer is going to be called as a database. Third layer is going to be called as a database. Okay. So, when I call it as an application, application is nothing but we call it as a kernel, K-E-R-N-A-L, kernel layer application. Very, very important. Just keep these words in your mind, actually. So just keep it with you, okay? Very, very important words I'm going to be telling. We call it as a kernel layer application. Okay, I'll tell you what is the kernel level application, okay? So the kernel level application we are going to be using called as SAP ECC 6.0. ECC is nothing but enterprise central component. What is SAP ECC? ECC is going to be called as the enterprise central component. And the 6.0 is nothing but it is a version number. ECC version number. And in this SAP ECC version, we have several enhancement packages, EHP1 to EHP02, till we have up to EHP12. There are so many enhancement packages out there. Like for example, if you take, if for example, if you take a Microsoft, okay, something like okay, MS Word or something like if you take a Microsoft Office. So what is today we are going to be running on the Microsoft Office 13, 14, 15, 16. That is nothing but we are going to be calling something called the versions of Microsoft. Okay, we are going to be talking about Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 9, Windows 10, Windows 12. So every year you can see there is an upgrade of the version on the Windows level. We see some new enhancements or new features have been brought out at the start of either Word or something like in the Excel or in the PowerPoint, whatever it is. So we are doing some new features over there. So this ECC, ECC 6.0 is also called the new enhancement. Actually, we call it as the new enhancement. And there are so many enhancement packages out there. We are, we are going to be calling it as EHP packages. So from 0 to 12, there are so many enhancement packages of them, okay? So now, when I call it as a kernel level application here, so, this kernel level application is the middle layer and on the top of your SAP application, on the top of your kernel level application, there is a one more layer we are going to be adding. That is what exactly you call it as simple finance. We call it as SF. SF 1.0, SF 2.4. This is what exactly I'm going to be calling it as simple finance. 
This simple finance was introduced in the year of 2014-2015 actually. So what is the advantage of bringing the simple finance into the 1.4, 2.4 here is nothing but we are going to be doing some simplification. Simplifications. Simplifications from the data structure point of view, from the data structure. From the data structure point of view. What do you mean by data structure? Let me take small example. Let me take a small example. I want a customer balance report. I want a customer balance report. Example, I'm just taking an example. Okay. Do it. To get this customer balance report, I'm sending a query. I'm sending a query to my application. From the application, the query will be sending to your database. Why? Because we all know that the data will be resided in the database in the form of a tables. We don't see any data in the application. Application is always going to be called as a server. We don't find any kind of data is going to be resided at application level. The data will be resided in the database in what form? The data will be resided in a database in the form of a tables. Multiple thousands of thousands of tables are there. Now, I want, I'm sending a query. The query is going to be called as a customer balance report. To get this customer balance report, the, to get this customer balance report, I need to involve, so the query has to go and it has to look out for nearly seven to eight tables to get compiling of all these tables, you believe or not. Okay, very, very important. It's not a one single table so that I can give the data to you back to you, the customer balance report. Totally seven to eight tables, I need to compile them. Very, very important. After I do the compiling of seven to eight tables, then I will get back to you so that you can get the report on your presentation later. That is what exactly you call it as a customer balance report. Means what type of tables we are going to be extracting from the database. We are extracting the, from the database customer data tables. Very, very important. Customer data tables. We are extracting the data called the GL data tables. Okay, open item, open item tables. Cleared item tables. Like this. If I don't compile all these tables, if I don't compile all these tables, I'm not going to be getting a query back to you called the customer balance report. So for one report, so totally I need to compile totally 78 tables to get the data back to you, which is going to be called the customer balance report. Earlier, the data structure is different. Data structure is nothing but they're going to be calling from the table level. So when I go to the GL, if I go to the GL, GL is going to be having a different data structure, means GL data will be get extracted from the two different tables. One is going to be called the header table, we call it as the PKPF, and the line item level table, we are going to be calling it as the BSEC. BSEC, and there is a new GL table called as FAGL, FLE, XA table. And if I want to get, and if I want to get, very, very important, if I want to get the customer, customer report, or if I want to get the customer data, the customer data tables are going to be referred to, very, very important. So we have some index tables called the BSIS table, BSID table, BSIK table, this is where, this is where exactly, BSAD table, B Yes, AS tables. So these all are going to be called as the index tables. Actually, we call them as the index tables. These index tables will be resided on the top of your BSEC table. BSEC is always going to be called as the underlying database table. So on this underlying database table, there are so many index and aggregate tables are there. Those index and aggregate tables will read the data from this underlying BSEC table. I'll tell you, in the, in the, in the classes, I'm going to discuss more into the details about this. So it is not a one single table. To be very frank, Mahesh, this is not a one single table so that I will get back the report called the customer aging report or customer balance report. I need to compile the total seven to eight tables to give back the report called the customer balance report. So the compiling is going to be happened where the compiling is going to be done in the application. So what we are going to do, I'm sending the query. The query will go to the application. From the application, the query will go to the database. And in the database, the query is going to 
extract the data from all the required tables and once it has gathering once it gathers all the tables it will push all the tables back to your application and application what it will do it will compile all those required tables and then finally a report is developed and that report will be sent back to your presentation this is how the architecture will become this is how the architecture will run so now, when I'm going to be introducing concept called as the simple finance, the simple finance has come with version called as very, very important word. The simple finance has come with the version called as 1503. What is 1503? In 2015, in the month of March, the 2015, in the month of March, we have introduced the concept called the simple finance. The simple finance version number is always going to be called as 1503. But simple finance is not an application. Simple finance is the add-on on the top of your kernel level application. Kernel level application is nothing but SAP ECC application. So it will, it is on the top. There will be one more layer will be developed. That layer we are going to be calling it the simple finance. So it will be on the top of your simple finance. So because the simple finance is a add-on. What do we call it as? We call it as an add-on. Very, very important. A D D O N add-on. So simple finance we have, we have a simple logistics also we have. Very, very important. So now today, what we are talking, today we are talking about SAP S4 HANA, not simple finance. We are going to be talking SAP S4 HANA finance. Very, very important. SAP S4 HANA finance. So how it is going to be the difference? How it is going to be the difference from the SAP S4 HANA finance to the simple finance? Very, very important here. So what is the simple finance now? I tell you the meaning. Now, what is the simple finance? What it is going to do? Why should I go for the simple finance as the add-on on the top of your SAP ECC? The word we are going to be calling as the simplification of data structure. The word we are going to be using called as the simplification of data structure. If I go to the slides, it's a very important see here. See here. That is in the 2014 here, if you observe, in the year of 2014, so we brought a concept called the SAP Simple Finance Powered by SAP HANA. So what are the advantages? Instant financial insight, no aggregates, single source of truth. What are the advantages of Simple Finance? A simple Finance advantages are nothing but there are three advantages are this. Instant financial insight, no aggregates, single source of truth. What do you mean by instant financial insight? What is the no aggregates? What do you mean by single source of truth? This is how we are going to be calling it the simplification of the data, my dear friends. We are going to be calling it as a simplification of data. Okay, let me go back. There is a one, okay, so there is a one called as, okay, so I just brought something to you. One second, all of you, one second, please. Mm. Where in the assignment, okay, so one second. Okay, I just going to bring you one important, okay. Uh, where is that, where is that, where is that, where is that, where is that document? There is a document, I just want to open the document to explain, okay, very clearly what exactly I want to convey. Okay, so let me open the document first, then we'll go into the class, okay? Yeah, here I got. Yeah, let me go through the diagram so that it will be easy for you to understand. Today, why we are not supposed to call SAP Simple Finance, why we are going to be calling it as SAP S4 HANA Finance. Please don't call it as a Simple Finance now. We are, we are far away from the Simple Finance. Simple Finance is the older version, very, very important. Simple Finance is the older version, very, very important. So we are, today, we are not going to be calling it as a Simple Finance, very, very important. Here I'm going to be finding very good diagram. Okay, so this is the diagram which I want to explain to you. All. Yeah. Okay. So very important here. Let me first go to the diagram. Okay. Let me remove this all the things. Okay. So that okay. So that I will be explaining you an important topic. Okay. 
Okay. Now earlier we call it as a multiple source of growth. Okay, multiple, multiple source of growth. <laughs> means if i want to get some information some a simple very important here i want to get some information so for that information i need to refer multiple tables actually not a single table i need to refer multiple tables to reach out to the particular point means i'll explain you know we are talking about the customer balance report okay. we are talking about the customer balance report Okay, we are talking about this particular. We are talking about this particular point. Okay, now if I want to get this customer balance report, I told that I need to compile how many tables exactly? About seven to eight tables. I need to compile the data. Is all the seven to eight tables are not related to the GL? Is all the seven to eight tables are not related to the customers? These all the seventy-eight tables are not related to any other because I need to get all the data from these all the eight tables actually. Then only I can go back to your customer balance report. So earlier, what is happening? Earlier is what is happening here. So if you want to refer the GL, I need to refer the GL tables. So I want to get the referring of the GL tables. Means you need to refer the DKPF. I need to refer the table called as a basic. So these two tables only give the data related to the GL only. If I want to refer anything related to the asset accounting, fixed asset, something like we have a fixed asset. So which tables I need to refer? I need to refer called as the A N E K, A N E P, A N E A, okay, A N L P. Like this, we have a different tables are there. So these tables will only give the data related to the asset related transaction. If I want to refer any controlling data related tables, controlling means cost accounting. I need to refer the tables called as C O B K and C O E P. So, if you see the data structure, the data structure is different for the GL. The data structure is different for the asset accounting. The data structure is different for the controlling action. So, what I need to do? I need to refer the tables related to the GL if I want the GL data. I need to refer the tables for related to the asset accounting if you want any asset related uh, tables. I need to refer these two tables if I want any controlling related tables. So the data structures are going to be different. So I'm not going to be getting all the reports in one single table. So GL is different, controlling is different, and asset accounting is different. It's like this, we have a multiple source of growth. We have called it the multiple source of growth. And when you come to the customer, for example, if you if if you come to the customer, so customer means we have to refer the tables called as okay. We have to refer to the tables called as the P S I D, and we have called it the B S A D table. If you want to refer the vendor related, this is the customer. This is the customer. And if I want to refer to the vendor related data, vendor related data will be stored in a different table. Vendor related data will be stored in B S I K and B S A K tables. This is completely related to the vendor open item and vendor clear item, vendor related table. So this we are going to be calling it as a multiple source of growth. We are going to be calling it as a multiple source of growth. So. The simplification process. What we are going to be introducing as a part of simple finance means what is SAP is telling. Now from today onwards, no need to refer these kind of architectures from today onwards. No, don't use any multiple source of growth. Instead of multiple source of growth, what is SAP is telling? Now today onwards, I will be giving you one single table. I will be giving you one single table. The table name I am going to be calling it as a single source of growth. Single. Source of truth. From today onwards, I'm going to be giving you only one table, Mr. Mahesh. I'm going to do some simplification now. I'm going to be adding some simplification process. So on the top of your SAP that we are going to be calling it the simple finance that was introduced in the year of 2015 in the month of uh, in the month of. Mark. So what I'm going to be introducing, introducing is going to be called as a single source of truth. Now I'm going to be giving a new table. The table called as ACDOCA table.
what is a doga a doga table is nothing but accounting doc is nothing but a document and a stands for actuals accounting document actuals so from today onwards if you want to get any reports do you want to get a report of gl do you want to get a report of asset accounting do you want to get a report of controlling or vendor or a customer tell me now i am going to be referring only one single table from the single table i am going to get a report back to you. that is what exactly we call it as a single source of truth there is multiple source of truth and very single source of truth now so we are we so we are so we are bypassing from the multiple source of truth and what my sap has done as a new version of simple finance they have introduced a concept of is a single source of truth where you are going to be extracting all your required data from single table the table name is called as universal journal entry table what is the table name we are going to be calling it as universal journal entry table refer to this table okay very very important universal journal entry table today onwards we are going to be calling it as what table it is universal general entry table and the table name is called as acdoca table this is what exactly the simplification now come out from the old architecture my dear friends come out from the old data structure now try to use the new data structure now your table name is going to be called as acdoca table now tell me now what type of reports you are going to be what what type of information i'll get all the information from the single table and that what exactly we have introduced as part of simple finance so here you can see here here you can see here we are going to be adding a table called as single source of truth with with concept called as no aggregates now i understood what is a single source of truth single source of truth means only one table refer to only one single table and you get whatever you want do you want the gl data i'll get it from the same table do you want asset accounting data i'll get it from the same table do you want vendor and customer data i'll get it from the same table do you want the controlling data i'll get it from the same table a simple thing i am going to be using called as new data structure so what type of data i am going to be getting from this ac doca table page okay from this ac doca table there are totally five components are there gl asset accounting very very important controlling material ledger and copa remember that gl asset accounting controlling material ledger and copa what happened to this vendor and customer vendor and customer they are going to be using called as index table so those index tables we are going to be covering as a part of gl only so totally this five components totally this five components whatever the data you want tell me now i'll get it from the single table that concept we are going to be calling it as a single source the single source of truth was introduced as a part of simple finance from the version called as 1503 1503 so it is a add on on the top of your sap ecc it is a add on on the top of your sap ecc we are not replacing the sap ecc with simple finance application no simple finance is not a application it is just a add on okay so now what is the second point the second point is nothing but no aggregates okay no aggregates what do you mean by no aggregates i'll tell you what do you mean by no aggregates this is my database please all of you remember this is my database and in the database we have database tables tables are different and aggregates and indexes are going to be different these are the two different tables i am going to be talking these are the database tables very very important i am writing here data database tables we are going to be calling as so for example let me take two tables database table one is going to be called as the bkpf table another one is going to be called as the bsec table another one is going to be called as the bsec table these are the two underlying database tables very very important here so where is the database database is going to be called as your third layer here you can see this database is going to be called as the third layer on the top of your database what is the like what is the layer we are going to be calling as application so here so here this is the application see this is the application very very important this is exactly i call it as application okay so 
in the application we find so many index and aggregate tables very very important in the application we will find so many index and aggregate tables why do you want this index and aggregate tables i'll explain you now why do you find this index and aggregate tables i'll explain these are the index tables and the horizontal ones are going to be called as okay, aggregate tables these are the index and aggregate tables. we'll find so many index and aggregate tables like this So why do you require this index and aggregate tables? This index and aggregate table, this is what exactly the, okay? This is what exactly the six, okay? The something like extra piece of code, very, very important. So some additional objects, we call it as additional objects. We are going to build on the top of your database tables. What my technical people are going to do? My adapters. Technical people are nothing but my adapters. What they're going to do, they're going to write some logic. That logic, what they're going to be writing, they're going to be calling it as additional objects on the top of your database tables. So what is the purpose of this? What is the purpose of writing some aggregate tables? So, so here, very, very important. So very, very important, you can see. So code essential to core function and the DB objects essential to the core functions. Actually, what is the what is the meaning of DB objects essential to the core function means enough. Actually, to be very frank, I need only these database tables are going to be enough to extract the data. But still, what I'm seeing here, Still, there is some additional code need to improve the performance. Definitely. For the performance purpose, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be writing some additional piece of code. What do you mean by performance, Mahesh? What do you mean by performance? I'll tell you now. Additional DB objects needed to improve the performance. So take me the, take me the same example here. Customer report. Customer report. Okay, for example, I'm going to be calling it customer report. I'm going to be calling it the customer report. Okay. For this customer report, actually the two tables are enough for me. Please, please, all of you, please listen to this, okay? It's actually two tables are enough for me. One is BKPF, another one is BSEC table. These two tables are going to be enough. But to improve the performance, means what do you mean to improving of the performance? Improving of the performance is nothing but there is a huge data has been resided in these two tables. To improve the performance of the data, what I'm going to do, my technical people are going to write some additional objects. They're going to write some additional piece of code on the top of your database table means they are going to be writing they are going to be writing that additional piece of code in the application what purpose they are going to be writing some additional piece of code to improve the performance of the data to improve the performance of the data what is my sap is going to be acting my sap is going to be acting for the additional db objects needed to improve the performance so these additional db objects i'm going to be calling them as index and the aggregate tables but these index and aggregate tables are not the database tables my dear friends these are not the database table the database tables are only resided in the database only but these additional tables are built in the application layer so when you're extracting the data from the database, what this logic will do, it will go and do the aggregates in the application level. Once the aggregations are going to be completed, then the report compiling is going to be happening. Once the report compiling is going to be happening, then the report will be displayed in your presentation. So to improve the performance, 70% of the logic, I'm using some extra piece of code, 70%, you believe or not, 70% of the logic, I'm using some for extra code, only the 30% logic I'm going to be using over here. Very 70% and very 30%. So this piece of code, what you're going to be writing, is it something called the extra additional which is not going to be required actually. 
why do you write why, why do you want to write this extra piece of code if i don't do this extra piece of code writing on the database tables the performance is going to be high i can see the low latency and the throughput is also very very low i cannot get the reports after the compiling to the presentation that is the reason i want this extra piece of code has to be written on the top of your database tables those tables are called as aggregates and the index tables earlier i'm talking in a cp acs so now what sap has done in sap s4 from the simple finance onwards from today onwards no no need to do any kind of aggregates from today onwards no so what is the sap is telling that yes very important now this extra piece of code what you are going to be writing I, this is not going to be required at any more of time very very important right because see here traditional application were built on the okay okay hierarchical data model details data was summarized into the higher level layers of the aggregates to help the system performance detailed data was summarized where we are going to be summarizing the data once you get the data from the underlying database tables the summarization means that summarization is going to be happen in this application this is application my dear friends in application is a server application is always going to be called as a server so i am going to do all the summarization of the data i am going to be doing the summarization of the data in application by using some index and the aggregate tables so here the point is very clear detailed data was summarized into the higher layer of the aggregates to help the system performance on the top of the aggregates we built more aggregates yes you already have the aggregate tables but on the top of the aggregates i think still we are going to be developing some more aggregates the hierarchical approach what is the purpose and the special versions of the database table these are going to be called as the special versions of the database table we are going to be calling them as the index tables okay index to support the special application so as well as storing the extra copies of the data definitely by given are you not finding any duplication of the data are you not finding any duplication of the data the same data will be resided in aggregate tables the same data will be resided in the index tables the same data will be resided in the underlying tables is a completely duplication of data so when you when you are call, when you are talking the customer aging report it is only up to it is only up to 40 to 50 gb of data that's enough 40 to 50 of the gb of data but how much data i'm going to be storing so it is going to be storing more than 120 gb because the duplication the redundancy is very very high the redundancy is going to be very very high over here so where is 40 to 50 gb of data where i am going to be using called the 120 gb of data because i am seeing lot of duplication a lot of duplication something what i am developing some index and aggregate tables to improve the performance where i am going to be using for the summarizing of the data where i am going to be using summarizing of the data only for the summarization purpose i am going to be using this index and aggregate tables nothing to do with the this index and aggregate tables because i have the underlying database tables so what is the cp selling so as well as storing the extra copy data we also had to build application code Where, where do you develop application code application code is developed in the kernel level system that is called as your server so where you are writing this extra piece of logic this extra piece of logic for the aggregates and the index additional dp objects needed what do you why do you require this additional dp objects to improve the performance so to improve the performance only for the performance purpose you are writing this extra piece of code in the application which is not required exactly to be very frank which is not required but but because of high volume of the data to improve the performance i had to do this aggregation and i need to do the summarization of the data in the higher level otherwise what happens i cannot compile the report and i will not give the report back to your presentation so here okay to maintain the extra tables and keep them up to date data base index tables these are going to be called the index tables you can see these are going to be called the index table so data base index tables improve the access speed because they are based on the common access paths to the data so why do you require this index tables index tables are going to be required to speed up the data aggregate tables are required to summarize the data 
So these are nothing to do. These are not the database tables, my dear friends. These are not at all the database tables. What we are using for the summarization and to improve the performance of the data, I'm going to be using these index tables to speed up the data. So what is telling that, however, they must be dropped consistently and rebuilt each time the tables are updated and therefore more code is required to manage this process here. Management is nothing but, okay? So the maintenance is going to be very, very high over here. Maintenance is going to be very, very high here. So maintenance is nothing but what is the maintenance? Maintenance is going to be called the aggregation of the data in the index table. One second, please. Hello? Yes. Ah, look, I'm in the introduction class. Sir. Now in SAP S4 HANA, when, not only SAP S4 HANA, it is from the simple finance. When you come to the simple finance only, now what the simple finance is telling? Simple finance is telling that from today onwards, no need to do any kind of aggregates from today onwards. Means what I'm telling, okay, what, what they're telling now? So this part, whatever the 70% of your logic you are building on the top of your database table, this is not going to be required anymore. No. So I'm going to rebuild your application. I'm going to rebuild your application with a digital core level, which is very, very important. But today we are going to be calling it as SAP S4 HANA digital core. So what I'm telling here, this whatever the additional code which is needed to improve the performance purpose, I'm going to be removing this all the index and aggregates from two members. Everything will be on the fly. I'll tell you what is the fly. And these tables will be replaced as compatibility view table. Very, very important. These tables will be called as a compatibility view table. Simple example, okay? Simple example. So what I'm telling here, these index and the aggregate tables are going to be very, very important. They are built on the top of your database table. Simple, okay? What is your database table? I'll take one example. What is your database table, sir? Database table is nothing but basic and the BKP of example. These are the original database tables. So when I am reading the data, these index and aggregate tables, what they will do? They will get the data from this underlying table only, sir. It's very, very important. All of you remember that. They will read the data from here. They will read the data from this underlying table. If there is no basic table, then there is no aggregation part. Because the data is resided in the basic table only. To summarize the data, I'm going to be using this aggregate. So these aggregates and the index tables, what they will do, they will read the data from there. They will read the data from the basic table only. They will read the data from the basic and they will read the data from this BKPF and the basic table like this, okay? In horizontal or vertical, what will be like this. They will read the data from this like this. If I don't have the basic table and the AC for a BKPF table, then there is no meaning of discussion about the aggregation and the index table. So once they get the data from the basic, what this aggregation table will do, they will summarize the data here. So once the summarization process is going to be happening and what these index tables will do, they will speed up the data. They will speed mean they will, they, they will try to improve the performance of the data. Once this aggregation is completed, then I will see the data in the presentation. This is what exactly the purpose of index and aggregate tables. But today, what is SAP is telling? Now, in, from the simple finance onwards, now there is no need to record any kind of this index and aggregates on the top of your database tables. That is what exactly the logic. So the traditional data model is very complex, definitely. And the complex data model causes the application code to be very complex. Definitely, if I go into the application level, if I read the program, as a functional consultant, sir, we are the functional consultant. If I want to read the program, it is very complex. It is definitely, okay, so from where the data is extracting, what index tables they are going to be using, what appendix tables are going to be using, it's a very complex in nature to understand logic in a better way. So it is definitely a, definitely a complex. So this has been found up to 70% of the application code is built. Means 70% of the application, whatever the additional piece of code you're going to be writing, it is a 70%. And the 70% of the application code, especially for the performance and under application and the add-ons, no value to the core business function. If I go to the business and if I tell them that, 
if i tell them that we are building this aggregation and the indexes on the top of database table to aggregate the data to summarize the data to improve the thing this this doesn't understand whatever you you do what why you are telling everything to me but i want high speed of the data if i extract any report within a fraction of seconds i need to get the data back to me i want the report to me that is what that is the business concern so how you are building the application how you are building the database doesn't matters to the business doesn't matter they will not listen to you this is a internal application code what you are going to be writing as a part of business application so with a complex data model and complex code integration with other applications and enhancements are going to be difficult definitely if i want to integrate if i want to integrate like for example another server to my sap it will be very complex my dear friends you cannot integrate other applications to your sap applications the complex the nature of your writing code is very very complex to understand here a lot of complications you are going to be making in application side so i cannot integrate with other servers then sap what they had taught okay so from the simple finance on we're using the raw data of sap hana so now what we are going to be calling now this is where exactly we are using based on the database approach the complete drawback is where the complete drawback is in the database not in the application so we have to do something from the database level not from the application my dear friends very very important so there should be a new database i has to introduce where it should reduce the writing of the extra piece of code on the top of your database that is nothing but your application here very very important so in the 2011 in the two, in the in the 2011 we came out with a new database called as sap hana db very very important this sap hana db we are going to be calling it as in memory db we will be calling it as sap in memory db this was introduced in the year of 2011 so with the power of sap hana db very very important in the power of sap hana i'll go into the details about in the classes what is sap power of db and other things we'll discuss in the, in, in the classes with the power of sap hana db what i'm going to do now today i'm going to remove this all the index and the aggregation part why because your hana db will take care of all this index and aggregation from two members no need to write any extra piece of code because i'm going to bring you the new database the database name is going to be called as the sap hana db so here you can see after i get the sap hana db into the picture using the raw power of sap hana we can aggregate on the fly in sub seconds from any line item level table we don't need to pre build this aggregates very very important my dear friends that is the power of sap hana db from two members earlier my legacy dbs are different now my sap hana db is going to be the different now whatever the aggregates you are going to be building on no need to develop any kind of aggregates mr mahesh very very important now what i am going to do i will give you the report on the aggregates on the fly seconds with no need to build any aggregates sap hana can generate any view of the table so i can generate the view and i can do the data with any run time for all the same sorts of tables so these tables now i am going to be removing from the from my sap now so now no need to develop any reports based on the aggregates and the indexes so what i will develop i will develop some view tables view tables only view what do you mean by view tables only you can read the data only you can read read the data okay you cannot write you cannot modify you cannot delete you cannot do anything only only thing is nothing but you can only read the data that the, the data we created that is based on the compatibility view table i tell you in the class compatibility view tables so within a seconds within a fraction of seconds based on the view concept i will generate the report and i'll give it back to you without using this index and aggregation part that is the beauty of sap you know now today onwards you don't find any kind of index and aggregation of the data so that is where exactly what i'm going to be telling from today onwards there is no need to do any kind of aggregation so with instant financial insights 
with the instant financial insight. Every report you want, every data you want, I'll get it from the database within a fraction of a second from today. This concept of this concept of introducing with instant financial insight, no aggregate single source of growth, we have brought out in the 2014 by using the concept called SAP Simple Finance. SAP Simple Finance powered by SAP HANA. So if we see this architecture, so this SAP Simple Finance is nothing but it is an add-on on the top of your application. So today, when you come here, there is no SAP Simple Finance. The SAP Simple Finance has got, has migrated to the new version called as 1605. That is what exactly we call the SAP S4 HANA 1605. We'll discuss in the classes in the coming class, 1605. Now there is no Simple Finance, my dear friends. So any business, if you take any existing customers who are running on with SAP Simple Finance, very, very important they have to migrate to SAP S4 HANA Finance. That is with the 1605 version. 1605 is nothing but SAP S4 HANA Finance. So now from today, there is no simple finance and there is no simple logistic. So today we have to call it as SAP S4 HANA Finance. No simple finance. Don't call it as a simple finance. Simple finance in 2016, in the month of August and September, they have removed the concept of simple finance. So all the existing customers, with SAP Simple Finance, they had to upgrade to the new version of SAP S4 HANA Finance. Very, very important. So that is the concept. Now today, what I'm telling you, this slide, important slide, why I'm bringing is nothing but there is no concept of Simple Finance. So what I'm going to do, I'm replacing with SAP S4 HANA Finance. See here, that is the reason I'm just writing in front of you. Benefits. So you are learning SAP S4 HANA Finance. Very, very not simple finance. Simple finance is the older version of SAP S4. What is the advantages you're going to be getting? So again, I need to deviate this. I'm right now. Again, I need to deviate. So simple finance is no more applicable. Very, very important. So you have to remove the simple finance logic and you have to write the logic on SAP S4. So what is the advantage? New GL. It is a nine years old continuous innovation, non disruptiveness upgrade. I'll tell all these things. So, this is the point I explaining you. Single source of truth with the universal general, eliminate FICO reconciliation from today onwards. No need to do any kind of reconciliation of the data from one component to another component. The reconciliation concept has been completely eliminated now. Very, very important. So, the mobile and the accessing the tables with the user of innovation and real time processing with the SAP HANA in memory database, remove the total and index tables and analytics with SAP HANA views and Lumira with mobile with the mobility with theory. And these are all the things we are going to be discussing in the coming classes. What is that one? So, this is what exactly you call it as SAP S4 HANA finance. So, in this SAP S4 HANA finance, what are the what we are going to be discussing here? What we are going to be discussing? We are going to be discussing about the classes which are very, very important. So this is our syllabus which we are going to be prepared for that. And the syllabus is going to look like this. And we are we are designed the course of content like this. So we are going to be talking about introduction to the SAP S4 HANA. So these are the topic. And so module number two, financial accounting to the SAP S4 HANA and overview of the financial accounting to the SAP S4 HANA. And then we are coming to the actual syllabus called the general ledger accounting, accounts payable and account receivable. And we are talking about asset accounting and how the financial closing pockets are going to be used. And we are going to be discussing some additional topics about the fury and the cash management and everything that are going to be, and some advantages of the new version of SAP S4 HANA. So it's a complete end-to-end -end training of SAP S4 HANA finance, not keeping the syllabus in a mind preparing for the certification. If I go and rewrite my syllabus according to the certification, it's a part, it is only 20 to 30%, not more than that. 20 to 30% of the syllabus, what I'm going to be covered. So come out from the certification course and learn the SAP S4 and in real time with a complete end-to-end -end concept. Clear now? Clear now? Yes. yes. So the classes will be starting. The classes will be starting from Monday, Monday to Friday, according to the Indian IS team. The classes will start from Tuesday morning to the Friday. According to the US 
CST timing, the classes will start from Monday. For the Monday, 7 p.m. I think. 7 p.m. or 7 a.m. I don't know. The, the Genetic support team will be in contact with you. So the classes will start from Monday to Thursday. But in India, it will be the Tuesday to Friday. So every day classes will be one, one hour, two, one hour, 15 minutes classes will be there and assignments will be given and the complete theoretical and the practical oriented sessions are going to be conducted. Any doubts, sir? Any doubts? So Mahesh, any controlling part uh, is being included as part yeah, of this it? Is the man, this is the completely purely on SAP S4 HANA Finance. Controlling will be included as a basic master data level. Got it. Okay. And don't worry about that. Okay, I'll be, I'll be covering. Definitely something new innovations have been brought at the controlling side that we are going to be discussing. Okay, sure. Okay, so Zenantech yeah. support team will be in contact with you. So when the classes will be starting and everything, the time frame, so you'll be getting information by tomorrow end of the day. Got it. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Okay, keep having a nice sure. day. Thank you for attending the session. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.